What's going on guys? Chase on Two Wheels here and today we're talking did I ruin my Ibex 800T? If you guys notice, I got my 2022 or 23 CF Moto Ibex 800T in front of me. And if you guys have been following this build, we've added all of the modifications that CF Moto offers, including the really nice pannier set here. We've got the guards, we've got the uh, radiator guard, we got every piece of protection you can get from CF Moto for this motorcycle. Inevitably, when we were talking about this video, we noticed this is adding a lot of weight to the bike. So in today's video, I want to talk about, have I added too much weight? How does the bike respond? And if I were to do it all again, would I put all of this on this motorcycle? I've probably put around three to 400 miles on this bike after getting all of the modifications on. So I feel like I'm at a good point to really talk about how did that affect the overall ride of the motorcycle? So that's what we are talking about today. Hopefully I didn't ruin it. Oh, my 360 camera is going to fit. Oh, can I? Ah, they, <laughs> I thought I could fit through that little, that little wedge. Turns out I could not. Leaving my buddies over here at on-site shine. Let's see if we can get lucky getting out of here. It's never crazy easy, uh, but it is now. It's always easy when you got an engine like this. So guys, I'm going to have to do the numbers on how much weight I've actually added to this motorcycle because these pannier racks are not light, but I mean, they're made out of aluminum. They're, they're a pretty decent job. They're as light as they can be, but they're also fantastic. I imagine when I was installing all this, I was like, that's cool. And I got to tell you, the versatility that I've gotten out of these bags has been astronomically amazing. It has literally shifted the way I think about bags and motorcycling. Like I was just saying, I left my guys over at Onsite Shine. They're one of my like kind of off YouTube clients that I work with. Uh, and I was doing some video work there. And guys, the bags I'm carrying carry all of the video equipment I needed to take to them today to uh, do a video with them and do some photos. And, and do a drone. I've got all of that on me right now. And whether or not this conversation is that I ruin the bike, the amount of versatility you get from adding everything that I've added, and granted, that's just the penny years, but I don't want to say something that you guys like don't understand, but it literally changes the way you think about motorcycles. So first off, let's talk about weight. I have significantly increased the weight of the motorcycle that I'm on. And how has that affected it? Generally, it doesn't really change a ton, but there are two areas that I have really seen the bike, uh, I guess, handle differently. I guess we could say that. Uh, the first way is when you turn the motorcycle. Now, the Ibex 800T did a phenomenal job from the get-go of being a very maneuverable bike. And a lot of these adventure bikes, they have those characteristics. You lean them over and they're very happy to lean. Once I've added all of these uh, pieces of protection, I have noticed that when I lean the bike over, if I only lean it over a little bit, like something like this, I don't really feel anything here. But if I'm taking something like a right turn and the bike's weight really gets over, I really start recognizing that weight because what happens is the bike just starts to, once you get it about this <laughs> this far leaned over, the bike suddenly, all the weight's higher up and the bike's like, okay, cool, we're going to the side. And then it just very happily and almost on its own just leans over. What that means to me as a rider is it makes it so where I'm turning, if I know I'm taking a pretty tight turn, I need to take that into consideration and I just need to give the bike a little less pressure to turn in because I have to compensate for how much the bike is actually going to lean on its own because the weight is higher up on the bike. At the end of the day, everything I'm telling you guys, you kind of, as a rider, kind of shift your riding to make that make sense. It's really weird. If you don't ride yet, you won't understand. But from a guy that rides a lot of different motorcycles where the weight is positioned very differently on all of them, I kind of exist in this very fluid range of like the first couple miles of every bike I ride. I'm like, 
okay, where's the weight position and where do, how does the bike want to be leaned over and how much do I need to input to that? It's kind of a weird thing. Most of you guys won't understand that because you guys are riding relatively the same bikes all the time. But it's just something you'll have to get used to. I imagine if I were to take all the bags off, the bike would probably feel incredibly light. And I'd have to kind of modify how I ride because of that. That being said, <laughs> just because I have the bags, what is that thing, that saying where uh, if you, a hu with humans, if you have space, you will fill that space? That is 100% the case with these bags that I have on the, uh, on the bike. Now that I, I have bags and I have access to them, I'm like, okay, cool, I, I have storage. I can now utilize storage. And uh, what I notice myself doing is doing way more tasks on the bike than I typically would. Uh, I've never had a bike that has this much storage on it. So I've really never been in the situation where I'm like, dude, I can actually carry a ton of stuff. It does change how you kind of look at motorcycles. I definitely look at the actions that I can take on my Ibex to be entirely different than something I would do on maybe a more sporty or sport oriented motorcycle. It's been really neat and I've noticed that it kind of makes me ride my Ibex more than my other bikes because I can do more stuff on it. I don't know, it's a weird thing. I definitely recommend it. If you guys have a bike that can get panty ear sets, check it out and let me know in the comments if you already have and you know what I'm talking about. One of the other major uh, situations I've seen with the Ibex ever since I've got these, uh, all of this added weight, is moving the bike around in my garage or at the shop under my power, like not under the bike's power because, you know, if a bike is balanced well, moving it under its own power, like bikes, bike manufacturers should have that weight balanced pretty well. And CF Moto on the Ibex 800T most certainly does. But when I'm having to move the bike under my own power, I most certainly notice how much weight is added to the motorcycle. It's one of those things where it makes you realize you gotta be particular about how you're moving it and make sure you're moving the motorcycle in a very, in a very stable way. Uh, there's been a couple times where I'm kind of trying to fit through a tight little groove somewhere, either in my garage or at the shop. The bike's weight gets away from me a little bit, and typically that wouldn't be a problem, but with all the added weight, it becomes like, oh, this is a little bit more of a problem than it used to be. Now, granted, th the percentage of time that that happens is is not really a lot. You know, the whole point of this video is to help you guys understand that if you are looking into adding all these pieces to either your own Ibex or another bike, you know, just stuff to look out for. I think that the majority of the weight is from the pantyers set. If I, if I didn't have the pantyers on it and I just had the protection, to be honest, I don't know if I would notice a difference at all. I will say I am a bit cognizant at how much wider I am and to be fair, I'm not any wider than my handlebars are. I don't know, this little like thing on my shoulder when I'm like doing things where I'm maneuvering closer to objects, even though I know that if I take a straight line and I go from the edge of my handlebar and I look down, I'm not going to exceed, like my bike is not any more wider than it actually is or you know naturally but i don't know it's like a little mental thing of like oh no i got something poking out the back i need to be extra careful that's just something that's in my head the majority of the time when i'm riding around with a pantyier set and there have been times where i would typically lane split and i have chosen not to so there's that <laughs> uh but overall the pros the, the pros outweigh the cons like by like a 10 to 1. I don't know if I'm ever going to ride this bike without panty ears on it. The second thing that I can uh, comment on since we're talking about the rideability of the bike now that I've got all the, uh, the mods on it, something that I can highly recommend are these added uh, foot pegs that extend the size of the foot peg from the OEM side. 
even having not ridden dirt or ridden off-road with this bike which we do plan on I, i've got plans for going off-road with this thing i got some cool dunlop tires i'm gonna be installing even without that just street riding with these uh extended pegs i have loved it i feel like i have such a bigger platform for my foot to sit on the big deal that that's really going to come into play is when i'm off-road and i'm doing a lot of standing up on the bike i haven't even been doing a lot of that and i'm already appreciating these wider pegs i can't imagine how much nicer they're going to be and if i wanted to they have adjustability so i can make them longer i'm so glad i have these aftermarket pegs they have been phenomenal they are uh, a definitely other thing oh we got another motorcycle with us hell yeah motorcycle bud uh they are one of the absolute must-haves if uh if i were to go uh and redo everything i did that would be in my top three the foot pegs the panty ears i absolutely love them also another thing i absolutely love is that kickstand pad extender it has made the bike so much more stable as compared to how it was when it was stock the kickstand just wasn't great the bike didn't feel really secure i guess when i put it over on the kickstand especially once i added all the weight the suspension has now got more weight on it all the time and because i haven't adjusted my suspension yet uh, the bike would stand over on its kickstand a little more than i felt comfortable and I was doing that on like concrete, you know what I mean? On like road. So it's not even on off road yet. And there was a couple of times where I'm like, hey, can I, can I get on and off this bike safely with the kickstand having that small of a footprint? Having uh, that kickstand pad extender has been really cool. The bike feels way more secure now with that so really love that uh that modification and it's one of the cheaper modifications so it would 100 percent be one of the things i grabbed if i were to to redo all of the things um i haven't tested out the crash cage yet so you know hopefully i never do <laughs> but i do like the look of the crash cage better than the stock uh guards that kind of come over the plastic overall guys those are the major takeaways that I am, you know, noticing after installing all of this protection on the CF Moto 800 or the Ibex 800T. As far as the riding goes, it's only that leaning that really even I, that I noticed. But you know, like as a guy that makes YouTube videos, I'm I try to be really aware of things. So I've tried to notice everything. But I think if you guys were to replicate everything I did on the on this bike. That would probably be one of the main things you notice was <laughs> you lean over and the bike's like, oh cool, we're leaning, let's go. But anyways, guys, this is just a uh, quick video I wanted to make to kind of update you guys now that I've you know spent a couple hundred miles on the bike and really got to utilize it as a utilitarian vehicle. You know, like this is one of the first bikes I've ever owned where I'm looking at it at like, I can actually, expand what i consider doable with a motorcycle now and uh, i think that's really cool so guys stick around on the channel make sure to subscribe like this video i've got way more stuff to put on this ibex 800t that i think is going to make the bike even better than it already is i've already got the stuff in the shop i cannot wait to get it installed it's just a matter of having the time and at the end of this video i'm going to include the video where we were installing all of this stuff on the bike so you guys can check out that install process if you're interested guys i'm chase on two wheels subscribe if you like motorcycle content and i will see you guys on the next one if you got at this point in the video you're in the outro group put oc in your comment down below that just lets me know you guys made it to the end of the video you guys go out there and ride safe and i'll see you on the next one later